Good morning, fifth graders. It is April 27th, Monday. Uh, hopefully everybody had a good weekend. The weather was awesome this weekend. Uh, I got a chance to get outside and and uh, do some golfing. And I went on the uh, lake in my boat for with my kids, which was awesome. So uh, hopefully you guys had a good um, weekend as well. Got a chance to recharge a little bit. Uh, just a couple of announcements. Um, during the Zoom meeting, I made some of these announcements. So if you were able to make the Zoom meeting, some of this stuff might be uh, review. Some of the stuff might be things that um, you've already heard, but just kind of keeping it fresh in your mind, trying to uh, remind you of what this week and actually the next couple of weeks are going to look like. So um, for starters, this is only a four-day week for you guys as students. Um, we will only have four folders uh, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, we are going to be uh, doing a little bit more preparation and doing a little bit of um, planning for the next couple of weeks in distance learning, try to finish out the year. Uh, the following week is actually only a three-day week for you guys as you won't have any lessons on for Monday. That's still, again, a planning day for us as teachers. Excuse me. And um, on Friday, we have a staff development day. So uh, next week, you'll only have folders on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So just be aware of that. Um, and again, obviously good to be in the habit of checking it. So if you're not sure, if you don't remember, um, better to get on and check and see that there isn't anything than, um, than saying, nah, I don't think there was anything today. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we see you on every day that we can and uh, get take advantage of those things. Uh, there will not be a Zoom lesson today or a Zoom meeting today on Monday, guys. Um, we will try to have one probably tomorrow on at Tuesday. Um, at some point throughout the course of the day, probably our two, our two time periods again, unless we need to change those based on uh, other classes having meetings. So uh, let me know if those times don't work for you and I can definitely adjust when we do those Zoom meetings, guys. So I'll, I'll kind of take your lead on that. Um, I'm pretty flexible when they can be. Uh, for science this week, we are starting a new unit. Um, it will be dealing with atoms and elements and things like that. And this should take us um, up for about the next two weeks, two and a half weeks. It's a pretty big uh, lesson, pretty big unit that we're trying to work on, guys. Uh, today should be fairly straightforward and similar uh, to what we've been doing, uh, where, there, where there will be a video. Um, I think there's a song or two, uh, kind of fun, silly songs to listen to about the parts of an atom. And then there's a small little exit ticket about um, atoms. So please handle that. I believe on Tuesday, the same type of thing. And then we're going to start a research project, um, kind of like we did with the planets, guys. And there is a process to that. And I'll probably put a little bit more into um, my introduction video when we get closer to those days. Nothing you need to really focus on right now, other than the fact that you can maybe start looking at the periodic table and trying to wrap your mind around which element you might like to study. I would like to have everybody pick a different element just so we can um, – get some variety in what we're watching and what we're seeing. Uh, we are going to try to share that with our classmates at the end of that process as well. So um, math this week, guys, very straightforward, very simplistic, uh, similar type of thing where we are going to be handling a lesson uh, a day or maybe even a lesson every two days. So you're going to get kind of an introductory lesson, some practice problems, a second lesson, and then some practice problems uh, moving forward with that. So very similar to what we've been doing in both classes. Um, but boy, I, I should have looked at this beforehand, but I don't believe there are any, um, I don't believe there are any quick quizzes this week, but I will check that to make sure. Um, but the same concepts, the same ideas, guys, uh, there will be stuff on Schoology. That will be your intro. That'll be kind of the, the, uh, videos and, and the teaching aspect of it. Then there's going to be a, a small amount of questions and that realize that that is just a small amount of questions to be able to try to practice that skill. There will be more questions on Think Central. I don't know if it'll be on there today. More than likely, they'll be added tomorrow, but I would still check Think Central to make sure you have everything done that is listed in there. Um, that would be a, something that, guys, I would expect you to do every day. Just check it. Go to Think Central, open it up, see if there's anything in your Things to Do folder. Um, it should not take you that long to do that, and usually it's going to be about one maximum of two things uh, a week in your Think Central um, account. So just just get in there and try that. And, and that's worth points to you. That's going in the grade book. And then the second thing, again, is Prodigy. Um, 
in looking at last week's stats, oops, get the light back on here. Um, in looking at last week's stats, um, again, we had fewer people getting into Prodigy last week. I'm not sure what the what the situation was, but uh, we definitely had more people getting in the, the previous couple of weeks. Uh, those of you who are getting into Prodigy are answering plenty of questions, so thank you guys for doing that. But um, I would recommend that we get everybody into Prodigy, guys. I'm putting uh, more practice problems for the same skills we are working on uh, for the current week into Prodigy. So make sure you're getting in there, uh, practicing that, and trying to get to 50 questions. 10 questions a day in Prodigy should, again, take you less than 10 to 15 minutes uh, a day. And if you get on a roll, it's pretty easy to answer even more questions than that in Prodigy uh, quicker. So uh, please get into those things. You are being awarded points for getting into those things and, and logging in and answering as many questions as you can. So um, as always, guys, the process is not changing. I will be here during the uh, meet of the day, the majority of your school day, uh, to answer questions, to set up a Zoom meeting as an individual if you need to do that. I feel like that's been going much, much better over the last couple of weeks. I've had a lot more people asking me and taking advantage of that. Um, the only thing I ask is if you request a Zoom meeting, make sure you are checking your messages, um, your Schoology messages, because I will try to respond within five minutes with a Zoom meeting set up. And so you can click on that link and get right in there. A uh, couple, the couple of issues we've had with Zoom meetings is that people request them and then they must step away from the computer or they don't refresh their page and check that uh, messages because then I sit there for a half an hour with a Zoom meeting open and nobody shows up until the very last part of it. So um, please, if you request a Zoom meeting, I will do my best to respond in a very timely manner um, to get that done. So please uh, be checking it on your end as well. Um, there should be some new things added into the grade book today as I tally up last week's um, assignments and what you accomplished. Um, those kinds of things moving forward. I'm hopefully going to close a couple folders based on the fact that some people got in and did some work over this last week. So um, the, we should still only have three, uh, hopefully only two folders of weeks opened up, but but for sure it'll be down to three. And uh, remember, guys, if you can go back and get those things done, you're still going to get points for them. You're still going to get uh, credit for them, uh, but it allows us to not have to search through as many folders or have as many folders open at the same time, which makes it easier for us to um, to find the current day's stuff. And I, I'm hoping that this stuff is easy to find. Every time I ask you guys a question during a Zoom or I ask you if things are going okay, you're saying, yep, I'm finding things okay, um, that that is actually true. I want to make this as easy as possible for you. I don't want to make this a, uh, a scavenger hunt, um, but that – also starts with you guys making sure we are taking advantage of the past assignments so that I can close those out and not have uh, zeros or missing assignments on the on the grade in the grade book for you guys. So uh, have a great Monday. Uh, I think the sun's supposed to come out here in a couple minutes. So hopefully uh, it warms up and you guys get a chance to get outside and enjoy yourself. But uh, more than anything, make sure you accomplish what we need you to accomplish in your school day, and uh, don't forget to ask questions. See you tomorrow.